right. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, and good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> welcome to the Oakville Milton and District Real Estate Board's annual scholarship awards ceremony. I'm Lorraine McLaughlin. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at OMDREP, which is the short form of Oakville Milton and District Real Estate Board. And thank you so much for joining us here today as we recognize the exceptionally talented students and the winners of our 2023 OMDREB scholarships. There's only one tiny housekeeping point I'd like to mention today, and that is to please keep your microphone muted during today's virtual ceremony, unless and until you are called upon to speak. So I would now like to call and call on and welcome our 2023 board president, Hunter Obi. Hunter, over to you. Thank you, Lorraine, and welcome to our successful scholarship applicants. We wish to congratulate each of you, not only on your excellent and winning essays, but also on your other exceptional achievements and to wish you every success as you begin your post-secondary education. Our goal this afternoon is to acknowledge your significant academic achievements, and we hope you enjoy the flower bouquets that were delivered to you as a token of congratulations. We want you to feel celebrated. I would like to acknowledge two very special guests we have here with us today, the Mayor of Oakville, Mr. Rob Burton, and the Mayor of Milton, Mr. Gordon Krantz, who have taken time out of their busy schedules to be with us for this ceremony. We wish to thank you both for joining us today and celebrating with the students. Also on the call to celebrate our winners are many of Almdreb's staff team who have helped organize and execute the scholarship awards this year. I would also like to thank our panel of judges for their time and effort in determining the winners. Our judges were Kathy Anderson, an OMDREB director, Carm Bozo, who's the director of philanthropy and community engagement at Halton Women's Place, which is OMDREB's president's charity of choice for 2023. Laura Pipes, who's OMDREB's manager of operations and administration, and Yin Shagan, an OMDREB director and the chair of OMDREB's YPN committee. These judges read and scored each of the submissions received this year using guidelines for creativity, structure, adherence to topic, grammar, and wow factor. This was not easy. Each submission made our job of choosing the winners very difficult. However, we are confident that we are recognizing the best of the best today. For 2023, Omdreb's scholarship focus was surrounding housing, community resources, and support. This is in line with Omdreb's president's charity of this year, which is Halton Women's Place. This year's essay submissions were creative, thought-provoking, and well-researched. The students being recognized here today have demonstrated an incredible drive and passion to excel both inside and outside the classroom. We are fortunate to be in the company of these bright young people. Before we announce the winners, I'd like to introduce Mayor Rob Burton of Oakville and Mayor Gordon Krantz of Milton, who are both with us here today. Each, each year, they gracious, graciously take time out of their schedule to celebrate the students who receive OMDREB's grants, so I want to personally thank them for joining us. We'll start with Mayor Burton to say a few words. Please unmute your mic. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to share with everybody my great pleasure in seeing such bright young folks come out of our community. And I know that the world will be uh, your bed of opportunity, and I have no idea where your talents will take you. But I like to tell kids who are uh, outward and upward bound that when it comes time to settle down and start a family, you will be hard pressed to find a better place to do it than Oakville. And uh, and we want you back. And if you're if you're not from Oakville, we want you to come. Uh, we are going to grow our population. Uh, we we double our population every twenty or thirty years in Oakville. So there's going to be nothing but opportunity lying in the future for everybody who wants to work and use their talents to make the community better and their lives better. Onward and upward for you in your careers, and may you enjoy a, a, a satisfying and, uh, and fulfilling life. Thank you, Mayor Burton and Mayor Krantz. Please unmute your mic and say a few words. Well, first of all, Hunter, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, to you and Lorraine and the rest of your uh, crew there for doing what you do there. 
for scholarships uh, for students uh, in Halton, and I know it's uh, mainly in uh, Oakville and Milton. Uh, getting back to uh, some of Rob's, um, of course, Rob and I uh, work very closely together, not only as mayors, but as regional councillors as well. And what Rob uh, said about Oakville is absolutely correct. But I found out in some of my uh, research, there's only two types of people in this world. Those of us that are Meltonians are those of them who wish they were. That's the only difference. <laughs> Now, getting back to the importance of uh, scholarships uh, there, uh, I call it putting your money where your mouth is. Uh, and I'm talking about the uh, Oakville Melton Real Estate Board, putting their money up <clears throat> to look after our uh, future. And when I talk about our future, I seriously, I'm talking about our youth. And uh, a well-educated uh, community is a very prosperous community. So that's why people like Rob and I buy into what uh, you're doing here. So I know there was a fair bit of competition as well for those scholarships. So, and again, congratulations to those individuals that are receiving it. But along with that, uh, you know, I just want to acknowledge the parents that probably sometimes play a very important role, for the lack of a better word, uh, pushing the, uh, the kids to, to do well in school. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, whatsoever. So congratulations to those individuals. It's going to be recognized here in a very few moments. So with that, Hunter, back over to you and thank you. Thank you, Mayor Krantz. On behalf of OMDREB, we want to thank you both for supporting OMDREB Scholarship Program. And now it is my great pleasure to present you our scholarship award winners for 2023. In addition to writing their winning essays, each student was asked to provide letters of reference. As I introduce each of our honorees, I will share some of the truly wonderful things these references told us about the students. In alphabetical order, the winners of the 2023 Andreb Scholarship Awards are Lena El Sayed from Oakville, graduating from Thomas A. Blacklock High School. Lena is a dedicated leader in her school community. She has been heavily involved in various extracurricular activities and impactful initiatives during her time at Blacklock. One notable achievement was her role in organizing the first ever Lake Lock Multicultural Night. Lena has also been actively involved in the school eco club, where she has displayed a strong passion for environmental sustainability. She was an integral member of the Truth and Reconciliation team, playing an active role in planning and organizing events to raise awareness. Her representation of student led events and highlighting of cultural organizations within the school has been impactful to all students within the community. Her leadership skills, organizational ability, and passion for promoting diversity and inclusion made her a well-rounded candidate for the scholarship. A notable quote from Lena's essay was, addressing the affordable housing crisis in Halton will require a combination of strategies that increase the supply of affordable housing, provide funding for affordable housing initiatives, reduce regulatory burdens, and provide direct assistance to low-income individuals and families. By taking these steps, Halton can make housing more affordable for its residents and improve the quality of life for all those who call the region home. By engaging residents, promoting information, and building partnerships, municipalities can help create a community that values and supports affordable housing for all. Congratulations, Lena. Next, we have Preeti Kerbunda from Milton graduating from Milton District High School, where both of my boys graduated a few years back. So I appreciate it. And I know how much work you've all done. I have 21 and 23 year old kids of my own. So Milton District is close to home. As a grade 12 student government representative, Preeti has assisted in the planning and execution of sports tournaments, spirit days and dances, as well as maintaining membership in the school's eco club. Preeti's commitment to the Milton community is just as admirable, volunteering in the Santa Claus Parade by distributing gifts to children along the parade route. Preeti's dedication to academic excellence is further highlighted through part-time employment as a tutor, assisting students with success in both mathematics and English. She always demonstrates a strong will to meet expectations in an ever-changing environment. She has a strong sense of responsibility and embodies her school's model, belong, elevate respect. Preeti incorporates balance amidst her studies and commitments 
as she carves out time to tap into her creative side through reading, drawing, and playing the piano. A notable quote from Creethie's essay was, in light of the housing crisis in Southern Ontario, it is essential to explore sustainable and responsible approaches to address the issue. While utilizing the green belt, green belt for housing development may appear as a quick fix, it would come at a significant cost to the environment, recreation, and quality of life. It is crucial to strike a balance between meeting housing needs and protecting the environment to ensure that Southern Ontario continues to thrive as a sustainable region. Congratulations, Kriti. Next, we have Kaylin Silva from Oakville, graduating from Abbey Park High School. Kaylin is always willing to help in any capacity that is needed. She is punctual, positive, and reliable, whether she's attending class or pursuing her hobbies. Her level of volunteerism provided her with over 145 hours with the Oakville Titans football team. She was a great example to other students and players. As Kaylin grew through high school, she helped extensively with the Oakville UA flag football program. She was crucial in helping the league run smoothly on game nights. She went out to all games, always prepared, and was always attentive to players' and parents' needs. Her interaction with everyone was always professional and come with a smile and a great attitude. Kaylin's essay focused on domestic violence, a theme highlighted by Halton Women's Place. A notable quote from Kaylin's essay was, there are many steps in truly changing a person's pattern of abuse, and these can sometimes take a lifetime to complete. An abuser must admit to what they've done, make amends, accept responsibility, identify the attitudes and controlling behaviors that drive their abuse, stop making excuses, carry their weight, and more. Congratulations, Kaylin. And our fourth winner is Kizi uh, Tatum from Oakville, graduating from Aldershot High School. I apologize. We had your name Ezekiel in here, but then we understand you like to go by Kizi. So I apologize. I was just about to call you Ezekiel. So Kizi's gentle and kind attitude always brings a feeling of warmth to everyone he meets. He's never the loudest one in the room, and he does not seek to be in the spotlight, but he nonetheless provides sorry, positively influences the people around him. He is a driven worker and he's adaptable to new or difficult situations. He is quick to smile at and chat with anyone, regardless of who the person is. He lends a hand in small ways whenever help is needed and strives to set a good example wherever he goes. A notable quote from Ezekiel's essay was, many in society today have become used to describing natural disasters, climate change and social upheaval as crises big issues which can result in citizens feeling hopelessness. The housing shortage in Southern Ontario is a wide reaching reality. And since shelter is a basic human right, then housing options need to be created without delay. Well done, Kesey, and congratulations. The sentiments expressed by all of our winners through their thought provoking essays ring true at any given time but even more so today when families in Oakville, Milton, Halton Hills and beyond are struggling to find home that meets their needs. OMDREB, specifically with our government relations effort, is looking to change that so our young people, like the bright minds we are celebrating here today, will not struggle to obtain their dream home when the time comes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating these four exceptional young students, our 2023 OMDREB Scholarship Award winners. And now I'd like to invite our scholars to say a few words, starting with Lena. Lena, please unmute your mic. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And honestly, working on this scholarship was super important to me, especially not only because my mom is a real estate agent, so she's constantly talking about the importance of being able to buy a home, but because this will be soon be important to my life as I'm going off to university. So again, thank you so much for this opportunity. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lena. Now, okay. uh, Hunter, could I be so uh, bold to uh, interrupt? Sure. I was interested in what uh, the students hope to, uh, to do when they uh, further their education. So Maybe Lena, if you could share with us uh, what you hope to do in the future and every other uh, you know, winner as well. 
I know Rob and I find that very interesting. That's great, Thanks. Mayor Krantz. Thank you. That's a great idea. So, Lena, what are you looking to do? You're graduating this year. What's on the What's on the horizon? Yeah, um, next year I'm headed to Carleton University to study public affairs and policy management. Um, so I'm hoping to work in the government and possibly as an investigative journalist in my future. And so, yeah, examining like different issues in our world has also always been super important to me. And so this was very important to me as well. Awesome. That sounds exciting. Ottawa is cold, but fun. So uh, you'll enjoy it. Okay, Kriti, please unmute your mic. Hi, thank you so much for this opportunity and just thank you so much for this scholarship. Um, I'd like to thank my family. They supported me through this and they're the ones who really pushed me to even write the essay. So I'm glad that they did. And next year I'm going to Laurier to study business and I'm hoping that in the future I will become a lawyer. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thanks, Kriti. My uh, youngest is at Laurier, and from what I understand, it's a fun place, so uh, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. Uh, Kaylin, please unmute your mic. Um, hi, I'd like to thank everyone um, who read my essay and for choosing me as one of the winners for this award. Um, yeah, I really appreciate everything that'll come from this award. Um, and I'm going to Humber for music, and I hope to do uh, music production in the future. Wow, that's great. Thanks, Kaylin. Uh, a creative side, something I don't have. I can play music on my uh, Echo, but that's about all. So uh, I'm pr proud to, to have other people in the world who can do that. <laughs> and last, we have um, Kizi. Please unmute your mic. Hi, it's Jasmine, it's Kizzy's mom, and I'm going to be one of those parents. Um, as you said earlier, uh, Kizzy, we live in Oakville, but he goes to the iSTEM program, which is out of Aldershot. So right. he has quite the drive home. And um, apparently they're still truck stuck in traffic and there's been an accident. So he's on his way. So I thought I'd just jump in here. So thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the flowers. I did send him a note saying, did you say thank you for the flowers? Because they were beautiful, so thank you. And um, he's on his way to Laurier as well uh, to study political science and hoping to go to law school. So we really appreciate your support. Wonderful, Th thanks, thanks, Jasmine, and uh, obviously pass our congratulations on to Kesey as well. I will. Thank you. Okay, so we want to thank Lena Kriti Ezekiel and uh, Jasmine for joining us and for participating in Andrev Scholarship Program this year. We wish you the best of luck and every success in your future academic endeavors. Please let's have a final round of applause for our award winners. Hey, thank you everyone for coming out today and helping us celebrate. Um, it's uh, really exciting. I, I don't know if we mentioned at the beginning, we had 23 applicants this year, which is the most we've ever had. So it's really, really great to uh, have so many young people engaged and uh, even more impressive that we had our four winners here. So thank you again, everybody and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thank you.